Hi everyone, it is Kato. Today I brought you a collaboration with some fellow blight customizers. Our team was fairy tales. We were more than 10 in this project, but life happened, and some artists couldn't join us in the end. One of the artists finished her doll a bit later, so the doll isn't in the photo, but she is still in this collab, which I am very happy about. Hazelnut dolls made the little match girl for this collab. The next doll is from Blurred Color Arts, who created this beautiful Snow White custom. Near Snow White we can see Lisa Harkins doll, a changeling. The next doll was made by Natalie Menegel, who brought us the little red writing hood. Above her we can see the big wolf from the same fairy tale. And finally, here is my doll. She is Gretel from the Hansel and Gretel tale, written by the Brothers Grimm. Now let me show you how I customized her. The first step is opening her head. For this project I bought a blonde doll because I saw that Gretel is often depicted as a blonde. I am using a screwdriver to remove the screws. By the way, do you know Hansel and Gretel still? They are a brother and sister, abandoned in the forest, where they fall into the hands of a witch who lives in a house made of gingerbread, cake and candy. The witch intends to fatten Hansel before eventually eating him, but Gretel pushes the witch into her own oven. It's a sad and scary story, but the good part is that they survived. Back to the head opening, here you can see how I am screwing out the screw that holds the air mechanism, which I am going to remove too. Now the head is open, I can start the carving. I am starting with a rotary tool. I wanted to create an innocent look for my doll, so I am carving the base shape with this tool. By the way, I am showing the process speeded up, but if you are joining to my Patreon page, you will be able to watch more detailed videos about my customization progress. With my carving knife, I am adding some more details, so she will be ready for the final sanding. After I finished the sanding, I am using some layers of Mr. Super Clear, which is a spray sealant, and I start painting the face. I am using pastels to blush the cheeks and to add some color to the lips. I like to use a cotton pad to soften the pastels and blur the edge out. With a wet brush I am sprinkling freckles onto the face. I am layering the paint, so the colors are a bit intense. I am drawing the shape of the eyebrows with pastels, then I am adding some hair strokes with a brown and a black watercolor pencil. I 
I usually don't draw on the back plate, but for this collaboration I wanted to create something unique. So I tried to draw a gingerbread house that Hansel and Gretel found in the forest. I used mixed techniques, which means I used watercolor pencils to draw the base, and later I used gouache paint to add intense colors and smaller details. This is the finished art. Here you can see how I am removing the eye chips from the base. It is very easy with a glue stick. By the way, I created a special design for this Dolin Photoshop, which you can download from the link below. The link includes two PDF files, which you can print at home. Here are the colors I used this time. I am using white glue to glue the new eyelashes in. These are the new pulling cords of my doll. I ordered this red dress for her, which reminds me of traditional German clothes. It's so pretty, don't you think? So here is the finished doll. I hope you liked my video and please don't forget to check out other dolls and videos as well. You can find everyone's link in the description below. Thank you for watching, see you at the next one. Bye!